I failed at being you, but I'm winning at being me. I'm winning at being free. Ain't no competition but me. See, I realize that I'm free, and I realize that I'm me. And I found out that I'm not alone, and there's plenty of people like me. That What's good? I'm Jack, and I'm back with another bootleg figure review. And this time, I'll be reviewing the bootleg NECA Arcade Turtles and Shredder. These turtles did not come with the box. I ordered them without the box, so they were a little cheaper because they didn't come in the box. And I figured they'd come a lot faster since they didn't have the, you know, the box themed around the arcade turtles game. And another reason why I got these is because when I was little, I used to go to Chuck E. Cheese a lot, and they always had Ninja Turtles arcade game, and I used to play that game so much at Chuck E. Cheese is, is ridiculous. So. You know, these, like this version of the Turtles have a special place in my heart. This is the type of box it came in. Like, I don't want to knock my Turtles down. Just so you can see. It came in this giant styrofoam box wrapped in, you know, plastic tape. That's all it came in. And I've had Shredder for so long, I don't remember what he came in. I think he just came in like an envelope, actually. But it's been so long, I don't even remember. But as you can see, these, they look good. They look just as good as the official versions. And I apologize in advance if this video turns out to be super long. But, I mean, I am reviewing five figures and all of their accessories. So let's get into it. As you can see, Raphael, he's nicely detailed, you know. There's a lot going on for him. You know, you see certain little paint defects and whatnot. You know, I'm going to do each turtle one by one. So, you know, I mean, I already apologized in advance. But, yeah, as you see, there's like a red paint spot on his left arm. Yeah, his left arm. And, yeah, I mean, there's probably lots of you know paint defects like these on the rest of them but we will see once we get to them here's leonardo up front and if you can't tell he has like some kind of like white paint bleeding on this eye paint paint is bleeding on his right eye i mean this one is painted very well but this one has like white coming through and yeah as you can see and his belt is kind of crooked I, honestly, I think all of the turtles' bodies are offset in some sort of way. Like, they all stand kind of crooked or whatever. And, yeah. You can see him up and down. He doesn't have any paint defects on his arm. You know, there's the back of the legs to the feet. Yeah. You see his belt is... Once again, see it's crooked, but I think they all have their bodies a little offset. Here's Donatello, my favorite turtle. As you can see, he looks decently good. Dead to feet. You see a little, you know, dried up glue right there. His belt is not crooked. Uh, yes, it is. Uh, you can see this one is a little crooked too. So, yeah, most of the turtle's bodies are kind of like offset. As you can see, like his waist looks like it's out of place for some reason. I don't know. All of them look like that though. Yeah. My second favorite turtle, Michelangelo. Yeah, and his see a little nick right there on that belt and yeah there he is head to toe turn around yeah shredder you know looks good there's a little paint sp spot on the knee 
you know. Hmm. Looks so good. <clears throat> Forgive me if I'm not talking a lot. But this is going to be a long review, so I'm just preparing myself for it. Under the cape at the back. And that's it for Shredder. Now that we have, you know, all of the, you know, paint details and stuff out of the way, let me just get to the accessories. And first I'll start off with Shredder's accessory because he has the least. Here is Shredder's extra pair of hands. And as you can see on the joints, you know, paint is kind of scraping off between them. Like, yeah, you can see paint chipping in between the joints. I mean, it doesn't really bother me that much because I probably won't switch the hands out that much. But you can see paint chipping in between the joints. His throwing ninja started. You know, they throw at you a lot in the game. And here's the two swords that came with Shredder. You know, they're not perfect matches for each other. Like, this sword has the yellow and gray handle. And this sword has the, you know, gray and black handle. So, yeah. I mean, they look, you know, they look nothing like Leonardo's. As a matter of fact, I may switch these swords with Leonardo's because I like these swords a lot better than Leonardo's. Now we move on to the Turtles accessories. And they came with this pizza. And I'll just admit that I almost, I actually broke this accessory because I didn't know that you weren't supposed to close it. It was supposed to stay open and so when I got it I closed it and as you can see I broke the box. I mean it's still you know held together by a thin piece of plastic but I broke it. But it's like it's a little piece in the box you know a video game piece of box or whatever nothing special. But too bad you can't the pizza doesn't come individually sliced and you, you can't take the pizza out of the box so that's a it may be a bummer to some people but the pizza is like made of like a soft rubbery plastic type of material so that's cool so now we get into the turtles accessories and they came with way more and as you, you can see they came in this nice little gift bag you know, just to keep them in. And I really appreciate the sellers for doing that. I start off with the pairs of hands. Now, I don't know which turtle comes with which pair of hands. I could have looked it up anytime on the internet, but I didn't feel like it. So, yeah. But the first pair of hands is two finger pointing hands. And then we have two thumbs up hands. Two kind of spread out finger grip hands. These hands have to be made especially for Ralph. In order for him to hold his side the special way. Two just open palm hands. And now we have Leonardo's swords. And you know they're okay. They look more like machete than swords. I mean I actually like shredded swords a lot better. I mean I could just switch them out with him. But you know. I'll see how that goes at some point. And here we have Raph's size. As you can see. And since I have them out. And these are the special hands for Raph to hold his size. Here we have Mikey's nunchucks. And they are, you know, they're attached by a real chain. And I gotta say, when I first got these, I think I broke them. I don't... Yeah. As you can see, I just actually broke the chain off of the nunchucks. So, that sucks. So much. And it's probably not even the pair I can attach the special twirling effect with them oh yes it is it is and this is the special twirling effect for mikey's nunchuck and from now on i'm just gonna leave it like this since i broke the chain and last but not least we have donatello's bow staff which is split up into two sections and you have to you know slide them in his hands and put them together i'm not gonna do that because that's gonna make this video extra long but yeah, here you, here's the staff fully connected and, you know, that's it for the accessories. First, I'm going to go over Shredder's articulation. And as you can see, he can look down like that, look back that far, head, you know, side to side. 
all around. He has no diaphragm joint, but he does have swivel at the waist. Uh, you have to be very careful with these arms. They're very stiff. His arm comes out that well. His arm comes out that much. Yeah, that much on the other side. These shoulder pads are soft and rubbery, so they don't really get in the way. This is soft and rubbery, so they don't get in the way. And double jointed elbows, wrist swivel, and hinge. Double jointed elbows, wrist swivel, and hinge. <clears throat> yeah. Of the thigh rotation, leg kicks up that much, kicks up that much, you know, up the thigh rotation, double jointed knees, boot rotation, barely, not that much of an ankle hinge, but it does pivot somewhat and toe hinge. Upper thigh swivel, double jointed knees, boot swivel, barely hinge, a little pivot, and toe hinge. I'm going to do each turtle individually, so this may go fast. Look, looks up, looks down, neck all around, a little, you know, side to side pivot. Arm goes up that much. Other arm, other arm goes up slightly higher. Legs kick out that much. Legs kick. Like for some reason, the legs they move in tandem with each other. But kicks up that much. Kicks up that much. Double jointed knees. Thigh swivel. Swivel. No ankle hinge and rotation. Roll of the dice. I just noted a notice a paint spot right here on his arm, but swivel at the elbow, swivel at the wrist.
I'm sorry I'm not talking much in this part of the video because, you know, this is very tiresome that I'm doing each figure individually. Well, this leg doesn't seem to have any swivel or just, oh yeah, it was too tight. Alright, and that's about it for the articulation. As you saw, all of the turtles basically have the same articulation. Except for the fact that Leonardo and Raphael, they have, you know, the roll of the dice movement. While Donatello and Michelangelo have the up and down hinge movement. Now that I'm done with all the articulation, let's get into some size comparison. Here they are next to my Storm Collectibles can. NSH Figure Arts Tiger the Dark. Articulated Icons Basic Black Ninja. Mythic Legion Female Vampire Knight. Marvel Legends PS4 Spider Man. And Marvel Legends Magic. NECA God of War 4 Kratos. And another mean green machine, Marvel Legends Hulk. Here they are next to my movie turtles. Here's Michelangelo next to Michelangelo. Leonardo next to Leonardo. And here's Donatello next to Donatello. And Raphael next to Raphael. And as you can see, he looks very bow-legged. Like their bodies are very off-center. Last but not least, my bootleg Mafex. Justice League Flash and my bootleg Batman Ninja okay so all in all I gotta say I really love these figures like I wish I would have gotten the official versions when I had the chance I wish I could have got the Aegis cartoon version of these but they didn't have those maybe somewhere out there someone will post a bootleg of those too but I really enjoy these figures right here to anybody out there who's thinking about, you know, going on eBay to get these, I highly recommend that you do. And it's, I feel as if it's worth it. You'll really enjoy them. And now, as you're about to see, I'm about to stand back and have, have everybody stand back and let Mikey do his thing. Yeah, I want to apologize for making this video so long. I didn't intend for it to be that long, but when you're reviewing five figures, that just happens. Go, Ninja, go, Ninja, go. 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 I haven't been able to do this. I haven't done this with some Ninja Turtle figures ever since I was a child. So I'm having too much fun with these figures right now. But anywho, I want to say thank you to everyone who watched this video all the way through. Thank you to all my recent subscribers. I really appreciate it. And that being said, it's been real. Whoa.